One of the things the new law talks about is quality standards. What's quality standards? I'm getting to that. Any disability service that re receives government funding must follow the new law. So the house you live in or the day centre you attend, if they receive government funding, they must follow quality standards. But Mr Spinner, you still haven't told us what quality standards are. Call me Jim. In the new law, there are rules for disability services and they must follow certain standards. How are these standards going to help us, Jim? Good question. One way to explain it is that your accommodation or day centre has to deliver good services to you because of these new standards. Great! There are nine standards. Let's go through them. Standard one, service access. It says here that there have to be services for people who need them most. What does that mean, Jim? Making sure you get the services you need. Standard two, individual need. Each person with a disability gets the service they want to have a good life. That means putting in a plan what we want to do. It's all about what we want. Yep, when you get a service, the staff should give you help to do the things you really want and need. Standard three, decision making and choice. Each person with a disability has the chance to make decisions about their life and have different choices. I get it. Standard three means having a say. You've got it. The staff have got to listen to what we say. It's about the things we want and the way the service is run. Standard four, privacy, dignity and confidentiality. Each person's right to privacy, dignity and confidentiality in all aspects of his or her life is recognised and respected. Jim, let me guess, I have the right to be treated with respect by the staff. Yep, correct. They also have to keep information about you and everybody else at the service private. Standard five, participation and integration. I'm a bit tired, Jim. Let's have a break. Let's go out for lunch. Why not? Why not? That's what we're doing. We're going out for lunch. Oh, yeah, I've been starting for a while, That's actually. I have. I'll, I'll just explain Standard 5 on the way. Each person with a disability is supported and encouraged to participate and be involved in the life of the community. We should go out in the community, meet people and do the same as everybody else. And to be free. Let's have a look at the next standard. Number six is valued status. That means staff and management treating you as an adult and giving you the help to do the same things that other people do. That means the staff have to treat us with respect. Oh. Um, David, how is your bang as a mash? I'll tell you when I finish. <laughs> <laughs> Standard six, Standard seven is complaints and disputes. Jim, how many more standards are there? I'm not complaining. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Only three to go, you whinges. <laughs> well, in Standard seven, everyone who uses a service has the right to speak out about any problems they may have. Staff have to listen and sort out our problems with us. If you make a complaint, you shouldn't be bullied or get into trouble. Standard eight, service management. Hey, listen to this. Each agency adopts sound management practices which maximise outcomes for consumers. What the hell does that mean? The service that supports you needs to run well and spend as much money and time as possible helping people. That means the managers have to do a good job too. Yes, and also disability service providers have to deliver good services. Gee, Jim, does this apply to self-advocacy groups that get funding from the government? Like us? It sure does. All services will be checked to see if they're following the rules. Yes, we have to make sure we're doing a good job. Because we're a funded self-efficacy group. Yep. 
Yep. How about get me a cup of coffee, Jim? Coming right up. It'll help you keep you awake for the last standard. Standard nine, freedom from abuse and neglect. Anyone who is using a service should always feel safe and well cared for by staff and management of the service. Our houses should be kept safe. But what if, what if I got sick? The staff should make sure that you're cared for properly. The staff must not pick on us. The staff shouldn't bully us or boss us around. You should be free from abuse or neglect. That's the most important thing you've said, Jim. Well, that's all, folks. Make sure you get good standards in your service.